Undefeated welterweight sensation Saddam World Kid Ali on June 2nd. Yes, you're going to be performing double duty as you not only you fighting in the main event, but you're going to be promoting the card as well. Uh, how do you feel how everything's going both inside the ring and at the business table about 10 days beforehand? Yeah, um, I'm very excited about that to be able to do both. Um, I feel that I'm in control and everything's going good. Everything's great. And I'm excited. I'm ready to be in the ring. I believe I have a great undercard. It's going to be very exciting. So uh, it's going to be great. I, I asked you at the, uh, during, the, during the round table, maybe you can get a, a little bit more here. You know, being the promoter, yeah, you said you said you're not really doing all the day-to-day -day activities, but you know, your name is on this. So, you know, not only is your fight, you know, you want to win your fight, but you want a good presentation from from seven o'clock till whenever the fight's over. So, I mean, I mean, what? Wait, what? What handprints are yours on this? Maybe we'll oh, definitely there. the whole thing. My my name's behind it, and then um. Um, I know everything that's going on. I just have a good team behind me, and that's why I made sure that the undercard would be good. It'll be it'll be exciting fights, whether it's decisions or either knockouts. I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a beautiful card. It's my first time. I'm excited, and I honestly think it's gonna go great. Seems like uh, you guys have mentioned a few times that all you guys. You and the undercar guys, almost like you guys all came up together. So yeah. it's a, it almost felt like a, on June second. It's almost be like a graduation party, so to speak, with all you guys coming up together. Now here, you're all fighting on the same car together. Yeah, as yeah, professionals. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We do know each other. We do have history, and um, we're great fighters. And I'm excited, I'm excited about it. Man. We're all excited. We all, we all want to perform to our best. Just as uh, you said that you looked up to some fighters growing up or whatever, do you feel now some of these guys are just starting out and girls who to Jennifer's on the card as well. They see what you're doing. You're 14 and 0. You're moving. You're 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 promoting now. You feel now that that you may be that guy for them as a, the people came before you. They were for you. Definitely, definitely. I feel like people would, would start looking up to me. It just depends on where I take it from here. I gotta stay successful, I gotta win my fights, I gotta make sure everything goes good. And that's how I plan on doing. If I do that, yes, I agree with that. Another thing you mentioned uh, was the uh, 2012 Olympics. Uh, a kid from around the block, Marcus Brown, being in the games. Uh, have you talked to him? What kind of advice he, have you given him any advice just about the whole Olympic experience? Yeah, definitely gave him advice. Uh, I've been giving him advice since before he went to the trials. It's not going to be easy. Um, everybody wants it just as bad as you. You, you got it. You got to know how to score points. What about what about even outside the ring? The whole Olympic experience. I'm sure. I mean, you're walking. I mean, you're walking in the same. Uh, line with with LeBron James a few years back, and you know, I mean, talk about the stuff that, you know that, that, yeah. that that's around the the, the events itself. Yeah, it's an amazing feeling. You, you really feel famous. That's the way it makes you feel. And uh, everybody you get to see, you see the whole the NBA team, Kobe, your favorite player is, is gonna be there. So it, it was a great feeling. But what, being there. Well, what kind of advice that would you give someone like him? Just about that whole experience, and I'm not even talking about the event, you know, the boxing itself, yeah. just being able to take in all the sights and, you know, because it's a, I mean, it is a once in a lifetime thing for most people. <laughs> yeah, I, I say just, just stay focused, um, don't be happy with what you got, stay hungry, and continue doing what you're doing, and, and, and go for that goal. And don't let nothing distract you. Don't let nothing distract you outside of, uh, of being in there. Anything you want to say in closing about June 2nd at the Aviator right down the block here in Brooklyn? June 2nd, it's going to be awesome. Great undercom. It's going, to, it's going to be very exciting. I'm excited to see everybody there. It's going to be packed. And I can't wait to put on the show. We look forward to seeing you June 2nd. Thank you.